China has landed three times on the moon and has even returned one of its robotic satellite explorers to Earth. At this time, we are unable to meet the task of landing on Mars. The country's space agency took a significant step toward that goal when the Tunwin-1 spacecraft, which was launched in July, began orbiting Mars. According to accounts from China's state media, this was the country's first successful journey to another planet in our solar system. But before we dive deep to know China's secret Mars-bound spacecraft testing and whether it will have an impact on other big firms working on space projects, it would be really helpful if you support us by subscribing our channel. Not only just subscribing is free, but this really means a lot to us. Hope you have subscribed now, let's continue. China has launched a combined orbiter, lander, and rover mission to Mars, which will take place next year and is hoped to be the country's first successful mission to the Red Planet. If the mission is successful, China will have established itself as one of the world's major spacefaring nations capable of planning and executing tough interplanetary missions independently. Only the US and, for a little period, the Soviet Union have succeeded in landing a vehicle on the planet. As is common in China, the launch was shrouded in secrecy before of time, but unauthorized video streams broadcast by Chinese viewers showed the vessel rising at 12.41 p. M. from the Wing Chang spaceship launch location on a high non-island surrounded by stunning blue waters. The crowds on the neighboring beaches cheered as the rocket flew south and east through bright skies on its journey out of the Earth's atmosphere. However, China's space agency did not send a live video of the launch, instead broadcasting footage of the rocket taking off an hour later, saying that the Tianwen-1 mission was safely on its way to Mars. The Tianwen-1 mission, according to Deputy Project Commander Wu Yunshin of the China Aerospace Science and Technology Group, is a big milestone project in the process of developing China's space power and a milestone project for China's airspace to fly further and deeper into space. It was the second mission to Mars this summer, and it took place just days after the UAE's build, Hope Orbiter, took out from Japan on Monday. China, like the Emirates, is taking advantage of a once-in-a-decade opportunity in which the Earth and Mars are closer together than usual. If all of these missions launch successfully, they will arrive on Mars in February of the following year. Tianwen-1 will then enter an elliptical orbit for two to three months before making a soft landing on the planet's surface. The real question today is, what China will send to Mars? The Tianwen-1 mission is named after a poem written by Qiuam between the 4th and 3rd century BC. On board are an orbiter, a lander, and a rover, whereas other countries have approached Mars in phases, first sending an orbiter, then a lander, and finally a rover. For the first time, China has indicated that it intends to operate all of these components at the same time. According to four mission experts, the orbiter analyzed Mars and its atmosphere for nearly one Martian year, which is 687 days on Earth. And it carries subsurface radar and a detector to analyze the Martian magnetic field, as well as three other scientific equipment and two cameras. The orbiter will also serve as a communication relay between Earth and one of the expedition's rovers. The robotic explorer will carry cameras, ground-penetrating radar, and other instruments, and its mission will last about 90 days on Mars. The rover will make an attempt to land in the Utopia Planisher region of Mars, which is located in the planet's mid-northern latitudes. The Viking 2 mission of NASA landed there in 1976, with the exception of the Soviet mission in 1971, which lost contact after less than two minutes. Only the United States has successfully landed on Mars in one piece. Following that, we wondered aloud if China had attempted to reach Mars previously. The orbiter Ying Wang was partnered with a Russian mission to explore Phobos, one of Mars' two tiny moons, after China's first mission to Mars failed spectacularly in 2011. However, shortly after launch, the Russian rocket carrying both spacecraft malfunctioned and they were unable to escape our planet's gravitational pull. When the spacecraft impacted with the atmosphere of Earth, they were both destroyed. What else has China accomplished in space? Despite the Ying Wang catastrophe, China has steadily progressed to the forefront of space science. Its space program is one of the few in the world that has successfully launched humans into orbit in space stations on its own over the last two decades. China has also dispatched rover expeditions to the moon on two occasions, with Chang'e 4 becoming the first mission to land on the moon's far side in January 2019. Its robotic rover, Yuta-2, is still exploring the lunar far side and supporting scientists in their studies of the moon's composition. The United Arab Emirates space program is small, and its desire to join the ranks of countries that have landed on Mars is part of a bigger push to inspire Emirati youngsters to seek careers in science and technology.
It is hoped that a spacecraft will orbit Mars for several years, supporting scientists in their studies of the planet's weather cycles. NASA's Perseverance rover will be the third mission to Mars this summer following delays due to technical issues. The rover would be required on Mars, and it would be identical to the Curiosity rover that is now exploring the Gale Crater. It will fly to the Jezero Crater, a dried-up lake that scientists believe could be a good spot to seek for fossilized evidence of Martian microbial life, carrying a number of scientific instruments. Furthermore, the mission will attempt a new flight on Mars. The rover will descend from NASA's Ingenuity Chopper not long after landing, flying through the thin Martian atmosphere. The spacecraft will subsequently attempt a series of test flights in A, which is as thin as the Earth's upper atmosphere, with the goal of establishing that Mars can be explored both on land and in A. This summer, the Rosalind Franklin rover, a collaborative Russian-European effort, was also due to launch. However, because of the technical hurdles posed by the coronavirus pandemic, which were too severe to overcome in time, it will now be ready in 2022. Six orbiters are now observing the planet from space. Mars Odyssey was launched in 2001, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter in 2005, and MAVEN, which landed in 2013, were the three missions launched by NASA to Mars. There are currently two European spacecraft in orbit. Its Mars Express Orbiter was launched in 2003, and its ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter was launched in 2016, both of which are shared with Russia's space agency. On the ground since 2012, two American operations have been active, InSight, which has been exploring Mars quakes and other internal properties since 2018, has joined the team. Due to a dust storm in 2019, the Opportunity rover, a third American mission, lost power. It will it be a threat to big companies who are working on space projects, or will it be a big chance for collaborations to make space travel easy? With all of this, we've come to the end of our video. That's it for today. So guys, do you think it's getting a bit crowded around the red planet, and will our near future be on Mars? Tell us in the comment section. If you enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to this channel, and pressing the bell button is a great way to show your support. See you in the next one.